Applying the Haramain Rosher scaling law and his balance equation that relates the gravitational and electromagnetic components. Haramain further theorizes that our own sun's power levels may be driven by a small singularity at its center that he calls a white hole black hole, where hole is W-H-O-L-E. In this scenario, the information transfer dynamic across the white hole black hole boundary event horizon drives the fusion structure of our sun. Haramain points out that these dynamics would produce dark cooler regions that we call sunspots, which are actual vortices of material and electromagnetic radiation being sucked in towards the centering singularity, resulting in an elongation of the electromagnetic waveforms, generating high X-ray emissions in those regions, just as one would expect from material falling into the event horizon of a black hole. In this recent footage of the sun's outer limb return from the Japanese space telescope called Hinori, astronomers were startled at what they saw where they expected to see large prominence of plasma ejections blowing into space. They were startled to find these ejections crashing down onto the sun's surface as if they were collapsing from exhaustion and being sucked into the sun and reabsorbed. Leading astrophysicist Dr. Leon Golub of the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics described these dynamics as impossible in the context of our current understanding of the sun's physics. However, Haramain's model predicts, as clearly seen in this footage, that a portion of the plasma ejections from the sun would be absorbed by the large, particular sunspot activity produced by the centering singularity of our sun. Furthermore, as the sunspot activity increases, so do the radiation levels.